So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about simplifying radicals by rationalizing the denominator. A radical in its simplest form if there is no fraction in the radicand or the denominator is not a radical. In the given, square root of 7 over square root of 2, this is not in the simplest form because the denominator having a radical. So it must be no fraction on the radicand or the denominator is not a radical. In simplifying radicals, we need to use the rationalization. Rationalization is the process of simplifying radical in the denominator or a fraction in the radical. In this given square root of 7 over square root of 2, we need to rationalize the denominator. To be able to rationalize the denominator, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the expression of lowest power. In this given, this is square root of 2. We need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 2. The purpose, the denominator must be in lowest power and, and this lowest power and lowest square root. Okay, so let us multiply. Square root of 7 times square root of 2, the answer is square root of 40. Over square root of 2 times square root of 2, the answer is equal to the square root of 4, or that is 2. So it means square root of 7 over square root of 2, the final answer is square root of 14 over 2. In example number 1, let us simplify square root of 3 all over square root of 2. So multiply the numerator and denominator by, so let us copy only the denominator that is square root of 2. So multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 2. Multiply outside, multiply inside the radical sign. So square root of 3 times square root of 2, that is square root of 6. Square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is equal to square root of 4. So copy the numerator and then square root of 4, the answer is equal to 2. So the final answer is square root of 6 over 2. How about number 2? Square root of 2 over 7. So we need to write square root of 2 over square root of 7. That is also the same. And then afterwards, multiply the numerator and denominator to the lowest power. So that is square root of 7. So multiply numerator by square root of 7, denominator by the square root of 7. Square root of 2 times square root of 7, that is square root of 14. Square root of 7 times square root of 7, that is square root of 49. So copy the square root of 14, and then square root of 49, that is equal to 7. So the final answer is square root of 14 over 7. Let us solve number 3. 3 over square root of 5, first we need to copy. And afterwards, let us multiply the numerator and denominator by the denominator. So that is square root of 5. So 3 times 1, that is equal to 3, and then copy square root of 5. Square root of 5 times square root of 5, that is square root of 25. Copy the numerator, and then square root of 25, that is equal to 5. So the final answer is 3 square root of 5 over 5. In example number 4, cube root of 5 over 3, that becomes cube root of 5 over cube root of 3. What could be the number to be multiplied in the numerator and denominator to make the denominator a perfect cube root? So the number to be multiplied, it is not possible cube root of 3 because 3 times 3, that is 9. There is no cube root of 9. So it means... 3 square. So 3 square, that is equal to 9. So we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the cube root of 9. Multiply outside and then multiply inside the radical sign. Cube root of 5 times cube root of 9, that is 5 times 9, 
the answer is equal to 45. While the denominator, cube root of 3 times cube root of 9, so 3 times 9, that is cube root of 27. There's no factor of 45 having the perfect cube root, so let us copy the numerator. Cube root of 27, so think a number to be multiplied 3 times, that is equal to 27. So the answer is 3. So the final answer is cube root of 45 over 3. How about number 5 that we have the variable? So let us solve. So first, square root of 2x over 3y, that is also equal to square root of 2x over square root of 3y. We need to think a factor to make it a perfect square root for the denominator. So what could be the number to be multiplied for the numerator and denominator to make the denominator a perfect square root? So we need to multiply it by the square root of 3y. So 3 times 3, 9. 9 is a perfect square. y times y, that is y squared. So it means the number and the variable to multiply by the numerator and denominator, that is the square root of 3y. So multiply square root of 2x times square root of 3y, that becomes 2 times 3, that is equal to 6. Copy the variable x and then y. Square root of 3y times square root of 3y, that is 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 2y, so y squared. Copy the numerator, square root of 6xy, and then square root of 9, that is equal to 3. Square root of y squared, that is y. So the final answer is the square root of 6xy over 3y. Let us see what you have learned. Instruction. Express your answer in simplest form. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.